What's up YouTube? Haven't made a video like this in a long time, but today I wanna to talk about Yoga Nidra and spread some awareness on how to access our physiology, our nervous system, and the subtle energy in the body to heal, to harmonize, and even create miracles. Now, Yoga Nidra is basically an awareness practice. There's nothing too esoteric about this on the surface, and it's just a super calming thing. You lay on your back, right? And you, you it's essentially a scanning practice where you scan your hand, your fingers, right? Your palm, then your forearm, and then you feel your upper arm, your shoulder, on and on and on until you go through every part of your body, systematically relaxing the muscles, right? and opening to feeling, opening to flow. And this practice in and of itself is super amazing for helping you calm down, for helping you sleep, and for helping you heal. I got into this because I was really struggling with insomnia and a friend sent me this. And recently I've just been going a lot deeper into it and realizing its capacity to work miracles at, for energy healing and energy work. Now, when most people you know, hear the word energy work or energy healing, they often think of spiritual loony types talking about chakras and all these different things. But I want you to understand that chi, prana, vril, vital energy has been a foundation, a pillar in almost every spiritual tradition across the globe for a reason. It holds deep secrets and deep power. Honestly, learning how to access and harness your energy body, your chi, is, is the key to vitality, to power, to healing. And I'm about to get into some techniques that we can apply once we're in the yoga nidra state. Techniques we can use to you know, really harmonize the body, harmonize the nervous system, soothe the subtle body and start really healing and coming into a complete uh, brand new blueprint of vitality per se. Now this is high talk, but in order to understand this high talk, we need to understand how the human, you know, body and how it's manifested. And this is more of the esoteric anatomy, okay? I don't want to make this video too esoteric because really yoga nidra is the induction to deep meditation to deep energy work that most people maybe have never experienced or understood or been able to access before on this channel we've gone very deep into energy work into you know the occult anatomy into all things esoterica and this video is is just for everyone so i want you to give this a try and i'm just trying to spread awareness of this practice that is very powerful so let's understand the human uh, anatomy and how the body works and what healing and health is, okay? Health equals flow plus harmony. We need to completely rewire our concept of what health is. Okay. A lot of people today think, oh, I have a disease in my kidney. Oh, I have an ailment in my spine. I have imbalances, you know, all over the place. I get easily sick here. And it's all physical based. And this is because our consciousness has just has fallen over the past few millennia. And we and we fail to understand what how the principle, the absolute principle of of behind health. And that is harmony and flow. When your blood is pumping, when your subtle energy is pumping, when there's harmony, when there's balance between the left side and the right side of the body, when there's harmony between all the different organs, right? All the different organs have a frequency, have a harmony to them, right? And when that resonance is in tune, everything is working properly. The blood is flowing properly. The lymph is flowing properly. The nervous system is flowing properly. Everything is online. At the deepest level, of flow and harmony is the subtle energy body, okay? There's four levels of manifestation into the physical. This is the esoteric anatomy. Four levels, okay? At the highest level, there is the subtle energy field. It's like an egg that surrounds the human body. That field manifests itself inward. You know, Manly P. Hall once said, spirit circumscribes a circle and manifests into, into matter within itself, right? 
So we have this subtle, subtle energy body. And if you're already like, this guy's loony, just stick with me. This will all make perfect sense, okay? This subtle energy body is manifesting downward and in. The next level of manifestation is the nervous system, right? So the nervous system, this is, a, this is an image of the nervous system right here. And we see that it manifests in the, in the brain, right? Creates the spinal column downward and then manifests like a tree growing outward. We are essentially an upside down tree of energy. So the subtle energy, the life force is what invigorates the nervous system. Different traditions call this different things. I just call it the vital force. The vital force is what animates the nervous system, right? The next level of manifestation is the circulatory system. So the blood. The blood, if you look at the arteries, it actually follows the same pathways as the nervous system. And the next level of manifestation from that is the skeletal and muscular system, which also maps perfectly onto this upside down tree. So all of these are essentially fluids. They're all tubes. There's bone marrow, there's blood in the veins and the lymph. The nervous system is a series of tubes and the subtle body is also a series of tubes, right? It's this field of energy. And at the deepest level, what what yoga nidra is doing is turning off the physicality so you can tap into the subtle anatomy, the subtle body and start harmonizing that. And when you heal and when you create flow in the whole subtle body, all other ailments will right themselves. I wanna get straight into the techniques before I bore any more people with the anatomy, but I just wanted to give you an awareness of what's all going on inside the human vehicle. We are trying to create harmony. And when you create harmony on the deepest level, the subtle energetic level, everything else will slowly work itself out, okay? I don't have enough time to make a whole guided yoga nidra practice in this video. So I encourage everyone to go check out my favorite 25 minute practice that I use before bed. And in that practice, you essentially start scanning your finger to your hand, to your arm, all the way through your whole body. And then you start feeling your whole body in its totality, right? Once you get to this point where you're feeling the body in its completeness, this is where you can actually start tapping into the energy work and the, the, the energy healing. I have a full guide to these breathing techniques. There's a link in the description to get that basic training guide, it's free. Um, but I'm gonna go through how I have been applying this in my practice and what it's been revealing to me. And there's three steps here. It's full body breathing, spinal breathing, and then uh, basically directed healing in the body. So full body breathing. Once you hit that yoga nidra state, I want you to imagine you are breathing through every cell of your body. Imagine you are coated with a very soft, subtle energy all around you. Allow it to run everywhere. Every exhale, release into perfect balance. The whole mantra, during uh, yoga nidra should be balance and flow. Balance between all parts of the body, right? So as you're breathing, exhaling and like letting your left side harmonize and balance with your right side. On your exhale, allow your head to balance with your feet and everything that's blocked in between, just let it gently flow away. Imagine this coating of energy is flowing all around your skin through every pore of your body. And imagine you are breathing through your whole body. And on every exhale, get a little more gentle, a little more soft, a little more subtle. And let, for instance, your left hand connect with your right hand and let the energy flow in between. Let your right hip connect with your left hip and let them harmonize. Let your knees connect with each other and harmonize. Essentially, let your whole body, like one way to, to do this is Imagine your shoulder. Let your shoulder become aware of every other part of your body when you inhale. When you exhale, let every other part of your body become aware of your shoulder. When you do this, all of a sudden the acupuncture points, the meridians, the subtle energy channels, you'll literally start to feel them opening. You're gonna to start to feel new sensations you've never felt before because you're quieting the physiology and upping the subtle energy and intentionally bringing your conscious will to bear on the vital force and allowing it to heal itself. We are blocking ourselves from healing all the time because we hold ourselves in certain patterns. There may be pains and aches and cramps that arise in particular areas. 
Don't focus on them. This is key. You don't want to focus on the ailment, the disease, the pain. You want to focus on the image of perfection. Focus on what would it feel like to be the most flowing, balanced, weightless, you know, perfectly vital individual. If something's tight, you know, don't like focus on it harshly. Just bring loving awareness there and let the energy flow through it. I often do this with my kidneys. In Chinese medicine, the kidneys are really like the source of health right? And so much of Taoist esoteric breathing is about breathing into the kidneys. So oftentimes I'll lay on my back there, right? And I'll become aware of my kidneys and kind of the tightness in them. And I'll just let that go, you know, just breathe into that with loving awareness and let the energy flow through my whole body. The key is not to get isolated onto one spot. It's to maintain full body awareness and full body flow through the yoga nidra practice. And as you do this, things will work themselves out. This is key. So, the next technique after full body breathing, again, go check out the resource to see that full technique, 10 minute guided meditation there. Spinal breathing. So I have a whole video about, sp multiple videos about spinal breathing, but let your whole body be aware of your spine. This is amazing. Just let it be aware of your spine and let the energy flow from your whole body into your spine and then let it flow through the spine. Just let the spine be an open channel of energy. It's the main channel of energy in the whole body. My friends, all ailments, all sickness exists as blockages, disruptions in the spinal cord. If you can let your spine be open, your whole body will, will automatically start to open itself because everything is a manifestation offward, outward from the spine, right? So basically become aware of the spine. And then what you want to do is imagine your, your hands are hanging on your spine and breathe through your hands into your spine and then exhale and let your spine release into your hands. Breathe through your feet into your spine and then exhale and let your spine release into your feet. Essentially, what you want to start doing is breathing through every, the five points of the body, the head, the hands, the feet into the spine and then exhaling and letting the spine open back out into those other places. This is so powerful. Like I can't even I can't even put into words how powerful this is. If you get into a 20 minute yoga nidra practice and you get into spinal breathing, you're gonna feel things pop, move, you're gonna feel organs release and dump and purge. Like it's amazing what can happen, especially if you're doing it with loving awareness and a bit of cunning, a bit of subtlety in how you're breathing and how you're directing your awareness. Doing these kinds of practices, my friends, you'll get a million insights. If you're doing them, you'll just get a million insights. You don't even need my words. Just try what I'm saying. So that's spinal breathing. The third, the third practice here is how to heal anything, okay? This is amazing. I kind of already alluded to it, but let's go with the kidney. Okay, a lot of people have adrenal fatigue, kidney issues, you know. Let's go with the kidney and the bowels, right? You feel tightness there, poor digestion, fatigue, all these things, right? Wherever you feel tight in your body, make the whole body aware of that point, okay? So breathe through every pore in your body, full body breathing, into that area, not harshly, just very gently draw energy into it, right? Just bring your awareness there and start breathing into it with loving awareness. When you exhale, make that point aware of your whole body, okay? So all of a sudden, like, let your kidney, let your kidney feel the rest of your body. I can't put this into words very well, but you'll know what I mean if you're just in the deep breath work, right? Just let your kidney become aware of your whole body and let the energy flow back outward. Do this a few times until you feel, you come to this point where you're aware of your whole body and you're also aware of that ailment. And what you want to do is imagine, imagine the energy of, in imperfection, imagine this coating of energy just gently flowing through your whole body and let it move through, open and release that, that pressure point. It's gonna be slow, it's gonna be subtle. And honestly, if you set the energy in motion, physical healing will happen by itself naturally with time. What you wanna do is essentially that energy, you can imagine it just as like this tight knot, right? 
and you're just soothing it. You're just soothing it. You're breathing energy in. You're releasing deeper. You're releasing deeper. You're feeling your whole body. Be aware of that point and just letting it flow back into its original blueprint. Here's the thing, my friends. So many of my videos in the Vital Knowledge of Self series is a playlist on my channel. is about, rem- is about allowing your energy to remember its original blueprint. When you were a baby, your energy flowed perfectly. Something happened since then. Programming, diseases, sickness, maladies in the mind, in the emotion, in the environment, all these things created blockages in certain places. But the energy remembers its original blueprint. All you have to do is surrender and start breathing and allowing allowing it to go back into place. So when you're doing the full body breathing, breathe into the image of excellence. Breathe into the image of being totally whole. That's all it is. That's all it takes. And all of a sudden, you'll feel, you'll, you'll feel things start to open again. So if you want to go deeper into Yoga Nidra, if you want a guided meditation with these kinds of things, definitely comment that below. And also go check out A, the resource, the free resource, link in the description for that, and the Vital Knowledge of Self series. I can't wait to talk about Yoga Nidra a little bit more. Peace.